Hello, yogis. Welcome to your practice. Let's begin. You're going to find your way into a comfortable seated space. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes and just take a couple breaths here to get grounded. Deep breath in through your nose. Let it go. Deep breath in. Let it go. Close your lips, inhale through your nose. Exhale back out through your nose. Finding your ujjayi breath. We'll stay with our breath. Take your hands and release them at your lower back. Use a strap if you need to. Open up your chest here and then slowly circle your head around, stretching through your neck and shoulders and chest, of course. Allowing the body to move slow to nurture that space in our body. The neck is really delicate, so you never want to overstretch. Jaw is relaxed. Face is soft. Maybe the eyes are even closed here. And pause with your chin down towards your chest. Release your hands, shake out your wrists. And then move forward onto your hands and your knees, spread your fingers, hug the shins to the earth, hands below shoulders, knees below hips, melting the heart, gazing forward. Moving into cat cow, exhale round like an angry cat. Melting heart, widening collarbones, inhale. Rounding, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Finding neutral in your spine, taking your right toes back, tuck the toes back, and just stretch back into your calf. Feeling the heel press back and then lengthen the heart forward. You can stay here or choose to lift your right foot up off the ground. Try to keep your hips even. Staying here or reaching your left hand forward, finding a balance, breathe. Neck is neutral, so just look straight down. Take one more full deep breath. Ground down through your left hand. Ground down through the right toes. Turn the heel down and then slowly lift your right hand to the sky. So you're in a anchored down side plank version. We'll take our top right hand, turn the palm to face down, reach it up and over your head and just stretch out through the right side body. So really root down through the outer edge of your right foot. You can notice my foot is kind of in line with my pointed left toes. If you're really tight in your hips, kick your left foot back a little bit. Good, stay here or lift your right foot, and lift your right hand a little bit, balancing more. Stay here or bend your right leg. Sorry, my little plant back there. Reach back for the outside edge of your right foot. Pull your heel towards your butt. Reach back through your right knee. And I love the gaze to come to the ground here for support. This is not about your deepest back bend. It's just about opening up the front of the hip. So almost think about tucking your tail just a little bit as you lengthen back through your right knee. Take one more full deep breath. Hand and foot release. Come hand and knee to the ground. Take a couple rounds of cat-cow, melting your heart. Exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Neutral spine, take your left toes, tuck the toes under, press back through your left heel and lengthen forward through your heart. Feel that nice deep stretch in the back of your leg. You can stay with this version or pick your left foot up. You don't wanna arch your back here, so keep your spine really neutral. Stay even through your hips, either stay here or reach forward through your opposite right hand for balancing cat. Look straight down, keep your neck neutral. Hug to the midline, 
but lengthen through arm and leg. Take one more full deep breath. Bring your hand to the ground, bring your toe to the ground, turn to the instep of your foot, and then reach up through your left hand. Find your balance, root down through the outer edge of your left foot. Take your top left hand with their palm turning down and wrap from your shoulder up and over your ear. Make sure you're not sinking into your bottom shoulder at all. So press into your hand, keep the shoulder open and activated. Feel your side body opening up. Moving on if you wish, lift up through your left leg. Lift your left hand so you're not as arced. Staying here or going back, reaching back with your left hand for your outer edge of your left foot. Look down for balance support. Open up your heart, tuck your tail just a little bit. Lengthen your knee back and make sure your foot's not towards the sky but it's in the same plane as your hip and your knee. Lots to think about. So sometimes if there's a lot of information within you know, the detail of a pose, just pick something to work on. Make sure you're not feeling pain. Take one more full deep breath. Release your hand, release your knee. When you get there, we're gonna tuck our toes, lift our hips up and back into down dog. Right away, just come into stillness in your down dog. Feet are hips width, hands are shoulder width or a little wider. Wrap the triceps down. Bend your knees a little bit and lift up through your sitting bones. As you inhale, draw forward, lower your knees, almost like you're doing that cow pose. With your exhale, lift your knees and hips up and back down dog. Let's do that again. So come forward, drop your knees, come into cow, heart goes forward, exhale, down dog. Either stay with that or this time round your spine, keep your knees lifted, come forward, pull your heart through. Come right into an up dog, but your toes are staying tucked. Legs are strong, knees are off the ground. Exhale back into down dog. So it's fluid, let's do that again. Roll forward, either coming into cow or up dog. Exhale, down dog, twice more on your own. Just moving at a pace that feels good with your breath. Opening up your spine, warming up the shoulders. One more time. Beautiful, down dog. Walk your feet forward, just enough where you can widen your feet. Take them to the outer edges of your mat. And so they're about maybe six inches closer than they were. Take your right hand to your outer left ankle, gaze underneath your left arm, find a little balance here, strength. And then release right hand to the ground. Let's switch sides, take your left hand to outer right ankle, pull a little bit, rinse out your spine. Nice, release your hand back to the mat. Walk your feet forward, but keep them wide. When you get to the top of your mat, heels turn in, toes turn out, Malasana squat. Hands come to heart, elbows, press to your inner knees. Crown of your head lifts, jaw relaxes, forehead relaxes. Good yogis. Take your hands like you're scooping up energy, reach forward, press your feet and stand straight up to stand. Let's squat back down, exhale. Three more like that, inhale, press up. Warming up the legs, exhale. Inhale, stand, keep your torso upright, exhale, squat low. Last time, inhale, and exhale. I lied, one more time, press to stand, and just bring your hands to your heart. Step your feet to hips with distance, find Tadasana, hands alongside your body. Root down through your feet, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold in half. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back to plank pose, pause. Finding your plank, you can lower your knees if you need, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga to your belly. 
Cobra, inhale this first time, be gentle. Exhale, press back into down dog. Deep breath in through your nose. Full breath out. Rise to your toes, bend your knees, step or float to the front of your space. Half lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, arms stretch to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Palms plant, step to plank, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or maybe up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Rise to toes, bend knees, step or float forward. Lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Stretch arms to the sky, root to rise. Exhale, hands to heart, one more round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Lengthen spine. Exhale, plant palms. You can hop if you like or step back, chaturanga. Keep the shoulder heads lifted. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right leg to the sky, hips are level. Exhale, knee to nose, round just one time here. Strengthen your core. Foot to the sky. Step through, warrior one. Back heel roots. I like heels in line with hips. Some teachers teach it closer together. I don't like to do that. Press down, reach up. Square your hips and shoulders. Lift up out of your waist. Maybe kiss your palms at the top. Exhale, hands come back down. Step to plank pose. You can hover your right foot if you want to give a little bit more. Chaturanga. Both feet down for up dog. Down dog, exhale. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Knee to nose, coil the tummy up and in. Inhale, foot to the sky. Exhale, step through, warrior one. Back heel roots down, forward facing warrior. So your hips are facing forward, sweep the arms forward and up. Bend to the front knee, square the hips, reach up, maybe kiss palms. Exhale all the way down to the mat. Step back with the left foot. Let it hover if you wish. Chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Deep breath in. Let it go. Rise to toes, bend knees, step or float to the front. Lengthen, half lift. Exhale, fold. Feet together or hips width, Ukatasana, sit down into your legs, chair pose. With your exhale, stay in chair, sweep old energy off and back to the right. Inhale through center, sweep old energy off and back to the left. Let's do that again, inhale, hands to the right, let it go. You got this, inhale, hands to the left, let go. Inhale through center, stand up tall, lift heart. Exhale, fold all the way through. Half lift, inhale. Step or hop back, take a vinyasa or you can just hold plank instead. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right away, right leg to the sky, inhale. Knee to nose round. Inhale, foot to the sky. Step through, warrior one, root down through your feet, rise to stand, little different this time. Use a strap if you need, otherwise take your hands and lace them at your lower back. Open your chest, square your hips and shoulders. Feel free to stay upright if you have a tender lower back, this might be better for you otherwise. Humble warrior, lengthen through your torso and fold over or inside of your right thigh. Strengthen your back leg a little bit more. Root down through the outer edge of your back left foot. Neck releases. Two more breaths. Try to bring your palms closer together if you're pushing out into your elbows or into your wrists. Soften your elbows a little. Root through your feet. Inhale, rise to stand. 
pivot to the ball of your back foot just to help move here. You're gonna press up, step forward with your left knee to your chest, and then cross left ankle over the top of your right thigh. And sit down, get this little figure four stretch. Your hands can come to shin and knee if you need. Take two more full deep breaths, sit a little deeper. Body is warm. Move your breath in and out through the nose. Take a deep breath, stand tall, left knee to chest. And then step back, land into crescent pose. You're on the ball of your back foot. Take a deep breath in, bring your hands to your heart, lengthen through your spine and twist to the right. Press down through the top palm, lengthen out through the crown of the head. Breathe. And last two breaths, you've got this. Rinse out the body, let it go. Deep breath in. Hands release down to the mat. Step back with your right foot, feet together, pivot to the outer edge of left foot or lower knee down, side plank. Yogis, you can stay here. You can take your top arm up and over your ear. You can stay here or lift your top right leg. Some of you will step the pinky toes, or the tippy toes, I should say, behind your left leg. Reach up and over with your right arm and turn your heart open just a little bit more. Use it as a side stretch. Come back around a plank, hover your right foot, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale. Foot to the sky, extend. Step through warrior one, root the back heel down, rise up. As you come up, square hips and shoulders, take your hands or your strap behind your back. Do the funny interlace, the one that doesn't feel quite right. Open up your chest, pull your palms close together, bend your elbows if you need. Humble warrior, lengthen and fold. If you are modifying, stay balanced from right to left side. If you didn't come down on the first side, don't come down on the second. You got this. Back leg is stronger, neck is released. Focus is on what you're doing, not what you're doing later today or what you've already done, but what you're doing right now. Root down, let's rise up to stand. Pivot to the ball of your back foot, just for ease of movement. Press off the back foot, knee comes into chest. Cross right ankle over the top of your left thigh. You're gonna need to bend your left leg a lot in order to get that foot to stay where it is. Hands can come to knee and ankle if you need, breathe. Good, deep breath in. Stand up tall, knee to chest. And step back, slow crescent. Land on the ball of your back foot, your feet are in like a railroad track stance. Hands come to heart, lengthen and twist towards the left. As the right upper arm hooks over the outer left leg, strengthen the back leg if it's lifted, otherwise knee come just down if you need it. Spiral open. Rinse out whatever is not serving you anymore today. Deep breath in. Exhale, unwind hands to earth. Step back, plank feet together, roll to outer edge of right foot side plank. Use your knee to the ground if you need to. Adding on top arm over ear. Top leg lifting. Stepping just the tippy toes, it's very light behind your base right leg. Turn your heart open a little or a lot. Pay attention to what the shoulder wants to do. Take a deep breath in. With the exhale, come around a plank, hover your left foot, chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. Down dog, exhale. Just a couple fluid breaths before we rest. So you're rounding your spine, coming for up dog or lowering knees for cow. Exhale, down dog. Three more, inhale, come through. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale, press back one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Rise to your toes, bend your knees, step hop or jump through to your sitting bones. Bring your feet together. <laughs> as you find this little butterfly stretch, sit up tall. And we're gonna use this as a, just a resting space. So folding over your legs. I'm just gonna let my hands come in front of me. You can also use a block underneath your forehead, which is a really nice way to just kind of decompress and let go. Take about five full, long, deep breaths, releasing the effort. You guys did awesome. That kind of went by fast. We did a lot without doing too much. I'm really getting used to these more condensed practices. You know, when I first started teaching, a practice was never less than 90 minutes. But for this online community, you guys are wanting shorter classes, so I'm trying to figure out how to do it right for you guys. So always comment in what you like, what you don't like, so I can improve what I'm doing for you. But that felt pretty good in my body. I don't know what you think. Come on up. Let's sneak a little core in, because who doesn't like core? <laughs> Scoop your knees together. Lean back. Keep a nice flat back, pick your feet up, finding boat pose. Arms released from legs is a bonus. Legs straighten is an extra bonus. I don't think I wanna do that today, personally. Good, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower halfway. Hover shoulders, hover feet, and you can just stay upright if you need. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more, inhale. And exhale. Good. Two. Lift. Exhale. Last one. Lift. Let's all come down to that half boat. Turn your palms to face down and pump your hands for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Keep going. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands behind your head, don't quit yet. And bicycle, right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. And we're gonna go back and forth, hugging your belly down for about 30 seconds here, and then we're done. So you've got this. Breathe, but don't quit on me yet. All right, last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one, let it go. Woof. Feet to the earth, feet hips width distance, arms alongside your body. Let's come into a bridge. Walk your shoulders in if you wish. Feel free to interlace your hands underneath your body. Scoop your tailbone a little bit. Chin stays centered, try not to turn your head at all. We always wanna protect the neck at all costs. <sighs> Beautiful. Stay with it a little bit more. Last three breaths. Back bends can be very energizing. They can be very hard in the moment, but very energizing for the rest of your mood for the day. Release your shoulders first. Roll down upper, mid, and lower back. Wind your feet, tent your knees together, bring your hands onto your lower belly. Just breathe for a moment. We are going to do one more, so you can do a bridge if you have a wheel practice, which right now I don't because I have a bum shoulder, so you're more than welcome to throw a wheel in there, but let's do it together. So feet are hips width, arms alongside the body. Kind of pucker your chest up first. So feel that back bend already happen in your 
upper back, you're pressing down through your arms, you're lifting your heart, and then lift your hips up. Scoop the tailbone under. You can stay here, wide arms, make it restorative. You can walk the arms in, interlace the fingers. If you want to, you can press down into your right foot and lift your left foot straight up for a couple breaths with me. Three, two, and switch legs, left foot down, right foot lifts straight up. Breathe for three, two, one, both feet down, last three breaths, wherever you are. Release your hands wide, roll down upper, mid and lower back. Swish the knees to the left, keep your feet wide. Swish the knees to the right. Beautiful, knees come back to center. Take your left ankle, cross it over your right thigh and then let your knee fall towards the right. Take your arms into a nice open T shape. If you want to, you can help yourself stretch out by taking your right hand to the inner left thigh hip area. Just kind of push a little bit, giving yourself more length on the outer left hip. That feels so juicy. Do you feel that in your body? I always get tight in that space. I don't know about you, but I always feel like I can benefit from these types of stretches. All right, let's come back to center and switch sides. So right ankle crosses over left thigh and you're dropping your left knee towards the left, right? So you don't wanna move this foot too much. You just keep it right in line with your hip, drop the knee over, arms come out into a T I'm way tighter on this side. So you'll notice the differences in your body too. And again, if you want to, you'll take your left hand to that right hip crease and just kind of give it a little bit of pressure and you'll feel this immense opening in the back side of your right hip and your lower back. Create some space there for yourself. And inhale, bring everything back to center. Grab a hold of your shins, give yourself a little squeeze, release your spine. And when you're ready to spread out onto your back for your Shavasana. As you find stillness on your mat, close your eyes. Take one final active breath in. Let it go. Let your body rest here and receive what you've done. If you have time for a longer rest, please take that and honor that practice. Otherwise, we're just gonna stay here together for about a minute. Don't rush out of your practice. You get so much from this last part. I am willing, I am ready. I am open to receive. Deep breath in. Let it go. Bring your hands together. Prayer. Thumbs kissed the center of your forehead. May the divine in me greet and honor the divine in you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts. And I will see you real soon. Namaste.